guys, it's Lita. So this is kind of a video that a lot of people have requested before, how to be happy. I just wanted to give you guys a few tips of what I do to try and stay happy as much as possible. The first one that I've found most effective um, is actually one of the reasons why I make videos is try making other people happy because when you put other people in a great mood, it is, ugh, it's such a good feeling. One time when I went to Starbucks, I saved like $3 just so I could give it to a homeless person outside of Starbucks who asked me before I went in there um, for change. And you know, it's like, that's such a good feeling is to give someone something and make their day. Even if you know them or not, it's just try it because it really, really does actually make a huge difference and makes you happy for a long time, actually. Another tip that I found really useful, especially over this past couple of years, is um, attempting to erase drama from your life. I know that's kind of a hard thing to do sometimes um, but basically I know a lot of drama starts from friends telling you something about someone else or someone saying something about you basically if you just don't take part in it it won't affect you so like you know if one of my friends were to say oh yeah I hate this person oh they did this and said this about you and said this about blah blah, blah then you know there's a mature way to go about it meaning you can be a listener, but not a speaker. If you don't say anything, no one can hold anything against you. Or, what you can do if you've heard someone say something about you, just ask them, hey, did you say this about me? I just want to know. And don't get mad at them or anything. Don't make a fire that doesn't need to be lit. You know, it's, it's not that hard to do. Just let it roll off your back. Just try. The next thing is, remember that this too shall pass. Um, my dad said that to me a long time ago, and it's oof, really affected me a lot. Um, you know, because when you think about it, if, okay, when I think back to high school, there was a lot of drama in high school, you know, like girls fighting and me being a part of the girls fighting, stuff like that. And when I think back to it now, it's like, that was such a small, just thing that doesn't affect me anymore, and that's it, it's gone. And when I even think back to a couple months ago, some things that I was really upset about don't matter. It's just let it roll off your back, kind of like a duck when it goes underwater and it comes back out and it has all those little drippies that go off, yeah, like that. It might be kind of hard to practice that, but once you really get a hang of it, it really is easy. And um, another thing is, I actually heard this in a movie about a week ago, I can't even remember what movie it was, but it said, um, when you're with your friends, don't cry to them, just have fun with your friends. You know, it really makes a difference too, because it kind of makes you forget what you were upset about. Instead of adding on to it by telling people and crying to people about it, just have fun. And it'll, it'll just kind of... Another small tip that I'm not even sure if it's true, but it's kind of like a placebo effect, I guess, um, is I've heard that if you smile more, it actually releases um, a chemical in your body. I think it's insulin. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it actually makes you happier if you smile more and you know I don't know if it's kind of like a like I said a placebo sugar pill effect where if you believe it then it happens um, but I mean it's worked for me so just try that it's really easy it's just one thing that I've actually been struggling a lot with this year is don't let others push you to the point where you don't know yourself anymore now this can be anybody you know attacking you or um, saying that you're something you're not, or saying that you're not pretty enough, something like that. Or it can also be someone that you're jealous of, somebody that you wish you could be, something like that. Um, just don't let it push you. You're yourself and that's it. I mean, it's, it's as easy as that. Um, I know it's kind of hard to find yourself and I, I don't even know if this is me, I don't know. But um, it is, it is kind of tough, but don't let it push you to the point where you're like, who am I even? Um, just kind of just remember your roots. Remember when you were a kid. Remember what you love. You know, don't try and attach yourself to something that you don't like, some music that you don't like to impress a boy or to impress a girl, something like that. Just be yourself. I mean, I have tons of friends and I'm, I don't even have the same interests as a lot of them. And that's, it's whatever, you know, it's easier that way too, because you it's less struggle, it's less pressure, it makes you a lot happier. Now, this one, I still kind of struggle with a lot sometimes, but I'm kind of learning how to not to. Um, when people insult you, 
try to just own up to it. <clears throat> that or just be like, hey, I appreciate your input, but I believe something else. You know, like people call me fat all the time. I'm, I don't think I'm fat. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm technically the healthy weight that I'm supposed to be at for my height. And I don't think I'm fat. So, sorry for all of you who told me that I was fat. This one's a big one. For people who say that I'm really fake, um, like aesthetically, look-wise, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm wearing contacts, this isn't my real eyes. I'm wearing fake eyelashes. Huh, nope, not my real eyelashes. Uh, I draw my eyebrows on, I put on a lot of makeup, and I have hair extensions. And my nails are also fake. So, sorry, but I mean, I like it. Don't let people tell you what you should and shouldn't be. It's like, so what a waste of time, like trying to impress other people, don't do it. Seriously, eh, it's lame. I mean, like, if you like doing it, if it makes you happy to impress other people and whatever, that's fine. <laughs> do, do whatever makes you happy. If you're at the point where you're unhappy trying to impress other people, just try to tone it down a bit. Just be yourself, you know, own up to it, be like, hell yeah, I have a butt chin. Hell yeah, I have the tiniest boobs in the world. I can relate to that one. This one's really, really important that I also realized this year. Um, don't compare yourself to other people because that will lower your self-esteem so much. Like when, it, I mean, like when it comes to girls you see on Tumblr or boys you see on Tumblr, boys and girls that you see in magazines, um, or you know, even in your high school class or your middle school class or something like that. You know, yeah, you might think they're pretty, but don't forget that you're also pretty. Like, you're also handsome, you're also whatever. There's gonna be times when you want to compare yourself to that person and be like, man, I wish I could be that pretty. Yeah, they might be gorgeous, they might be goddesses or gods looking. Um, but, you know, just be happy with yourself because you will be so much happier overall if you just stop comparing yourself to people. Like, I was comparing myself to several people this year and I was miserable while doing it. Um, God, it was for like months at a time. And um, I have stopped doing that in the past about month and a half and I'm so much happier and I feel so much more myself now. Um, so it, it takes a lot of practice. It really does, and it takes a lot of self-convincing, um, but it's definitely possible, and I know all of you guys can do it. I mean, I've met some of you at Playlist and stuff like that, and, you know, there were some of you guys that started crying telling me about how low self-esteem you have and stuff like that, and I'm just, I really want to help you guys, um, because I know how it feels, trust me. Uh, there have been days when I don't even want to leave the house for, like, a week, <laughs> um, because I don't feel good enough, you know? Um, and it really is tough, but if you really focus on just feeling, being yourself and just happy with yourself, it, it automatically just becomes a thing, like a habit, you know? Oh, I look good today. I feel good today. Ah, yay. And the last thing that I also do to keep my mind off things and just stay focused and just be happy is um, finding a hobby that you really like. Now this can be pretty much anything. <laughs> like if you like to cook, make that your hobby. If you like to bake, if you like to play video games, if you like to, I don't know, draw and stuff like that. Um, mine personally is playing video games and making videos. Um, I love doing that and I also love taking pictures too. Um, just that it's it's really therapeutic finding something that you really love that will take your mind off of it um it could be really anything under the sun so i hope this helped you guys a little bit uh these are basically the main tips that i use to stay happy and they do work a lot i mean don't get me wrong i still do get upset sometimes and you know i'm not happy all the time i have bad days um but that's only human right so you know you're gonna have bad days but for the most part it's really relieving to be happy most of the time. So um, I hope that helped you guys a little bit. And the more I learn about um, being happy, I can uh, get you guys in on it. Um, so I love you guys. And please have a beautiful day. And remember to smile and use all these tips. Just try it. I promise it'll make at least a little bit of a difference. Okay. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye.